three, two, one. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff. The Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper. You know, at least on this planet, wherever there's water, we find life. And to know that there's a place in our solar system that not only has some water, but an abundant amount of water. Underneath that icy crust, there's this global saltwater ocean. And so we want to go there to see, is this a habitable place? Could it support life? Things continue to look good. We've actually been to Europa before. Uh, we have uh, some kind of tantalizing evidence from previous missions. We've done a few flybys of the moon and gotten some data uh, that, you know, showed us that there's this ocean of water. Uh, and so we look, you know, and then we kind of continue to study it and we look for those ingredients of life, the chemistry, the energy, the time, and the water. We think Europa has kind of been simmering away for about four billion years. Uh, so it's a really exciting place to go to look to see, is it habitable? Well, you know, it's really about who we are. Even though it's a robot we're sending out into space, it's a very human endeavor to want to explore the unknown and especially to want to understand where life came from, where, how we originated, whether there could be other life out there. It's really a fabulous quest. And everything looks good thus far in the today's mission. Europa Clipper, separation confirmed. And there you go. NASA's Europa Clipper probe embarking on a long-awaited mission to study Jupiter's icy moon Europa. Via the video, we can see that Clipper has successfully separated. Please say goodbye to Clipper on its way to Europa.